And taking a live look at Lauderdale by the Sea right now, on the left side of your screen, you can see extensive damage to the pier in the aftermath of Hurricane Nicole. The storm has since downgraded to a tropical storm. Now, we are live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. CBS 4 has live team coverage tonight from the latest forecast to a look at Nicole's aftermath. Let's head over to CBS 4's Peter Dench with more on how the storm is pr prompting inspections of several piers. Peter. Well, Elliot and Lauren, a big question tonight is, could this happen in other cities? We have learned that inspectors and engineers have gone to at least two other piers in other cities, including Deerfield Beach, where there was some damage to its pier. But this right here is what people have been coming here to see all day. This pier severed by the storm, as we heard from a witness and the owner of this pier. The punishing waves sweep away a section of the Anglin's fishing pier off A1A and Commercial Boulevard. It's the third time the pier's been damaged since it was built in 1941. One witness says he did not expect to see this. And saw that in a matter of five minutes, the ocean went from empty to all of a sudden very large boards were just drifting really fast south as they were going down and large pieces were just tumbling in the waves. A section of this pier collapsed in the 1960s and was rebuilt. It was damaged again in 2017 by Hurricane Irma. Spiro Marcellos owns a pier. We got Mother Nature. We cannot compete against Mother Nature. And we're here to, to uh, make corrections to bring back the pier to life. It's going to take time and effort, but we're going we're gonna to take care of it. Nicole ripped off railings and damaged many planks at the end of the Deerfield Beach International Fishing Pier. Engineers checked on the pier's structural integrity. When you look at the wood and the damage that's done there, when you see uh, uh, major bolts and everything completely flattened, um, it, it, it is truly impressive and it's, uh, it, it's some major damage and this is the type of damage that we've really never seen on our pier like this. The mayor said the end of the pier could be closed for at least five months. The Pompano Beach Municipal Pier escaped damage. The city says it conducts monthly inspections and makes repairs as needed. Crews also went to the Dania Beach Fishing Pier early Thursday. Our goal is to be able to open up the beach by at, at least Saturday, but we have miles to go before we sleep. Uh, the damage of the wind was minimal. But the impact of the storm surge, um, the, the power of water is tremendously um, impactful. And while the owner of this pier is eager to make repairs as quickly as possible, he tells me he's not sure how long that will take. He says it all depends on how long it will take to get permits and supplies. He says that wood is in short supply. We are live in Lauderdale by the Sea. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.